Apple Inc., Samsung Electronics Company and HP Inc. are among the biggest names freezing new imports of laptops and tablets to India after the South Asian country abruptly banned inbound shipments without a license. Regulators on Thursday surprised the world's biggest PC makers when they made licenses mandatory for the import of electronics from small tablets to all-in-one PCs without a license. Laptop makers had been bracing for some government measures aimed at reducing reliance on imports and boosting local production, but the sudden licensing imposition caught the industry off guard, people familiar with the matter said, declining to be named due to the sensitivity of the issue. Surging prices of cotton and other raw materials have left denim manufacturers in Gujarat, the country's denim capital, grappling with a spike in production costs to the tune of 30%. With costlier raw materials and availability issues, denim production has declined by at least 30% over the past six months. This has left denim mills operating at an estimated 70% capacity utilization, suggest industry estimates. India has restricted imports of laptops, tablets and personal computers with immediate effect. India imported electronics worth $19.7 billion in Q1, FY24. The move is to push manufacturing to India. It's not a nudge, says Ali Akhtar Jeffrey, made. India to grow at 6.7% average between FY24 and FY31 double the size of economy to $6.7 trillion said by Sand Global. Digital business, India card payments market to surpass $728 billion in 2027, forecasts, driven by rising consumer spending said by Global Data. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will attend the BRICS summit in South Africa, the Indian Foreign Ministry confirms. India is considering cutting or even abolishing a 40% import tax on wheat and lowering a limit on the amount of wheat stocks millers and traders can hold, a government official said on Friday, as part of efforts to boost supplies. We have options like lowering or abolishing the wheat import duty and tweaking the stock holding limits to control prices, Sanjeev Chopra, the most senior civil servant at the Federal Food Ministry, told reporters. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep exploring, keep connecting, and keep spreading love across borders. Take care.